Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the Buffalo Sabres season preview. Of course, the Sabres are not in a very good spot, to say the very least right now. But at the very least, in some solace, they got some nice young talent coming up the pipe. And Don Granado is going to be able to come in here and put his system in, and we're going to see what he's able to do. And they also have two first-round picks heading into next year's draft their own. And the Florida Panthers to try to add to already the Owen Powers, the Jack Quinns, the Paterkas, the Ryan Johnsons, um, the Samuelsons of the world. Uka Pekka Likinen, I still think, is going to be a solid goalie in this league. He's just taking more time. The kid is still only 22 freaking years old. He's not even close to his prime yet. So you're going to have the veteran of Craig Anderson and Dustin Tatarski tandem, where... <clears throat> like I said with other videos, excuse me, in this season for other teams that are either tanking or in a retool, the easiest way to show you're either tanking or in a retool is by having two either inexperienced goaltenders or aging goaltenders where the um, Buffalo Sabres have both. You have Craig Anderson who played well in four games last year. I honestly love Craig Anderson, loved his days in Ottawa. Good goaltender, great guy. But um, he's not the same Craig Anderson. He's 40 years old, unless if he captures what Mike Smith did last year. But they don't have the same defense. you got a defense that's a lot of um, journeymen like Mark Pissick, Robert Hag has to continue to um, prove himself and get better out there in Buffalo. I think that will be good for his career coming over here from Philadelphia to Buffalo because he'll get more time there. He'll get to be that guy that's just kind of that body-checking defenseman. Yoki Haru, I love. He's a good guy from the right side. Darlene is obviously a good player. He just needs to be able to put in the right spots, and maybe Don Granado will do that. Jacob Bryson, another good player who's going to be up now and playing with y'all. So you got... Three young, and also he played pretty damn well in 38 games. So you have three young defensemen that are developing still that are going to become something, and then maybe Hag can just become that shot blocking brute force defenseman on the team. And then Colin Miller, there's no shot Colin Miller's having a two back to back seasons of minus 20. I don't care that he's on the Sabres, he's Colin freaking Miller. He's a very solid, consistent defenseman. He's going to be fine. Then you also have Will Butcher on there as well. So you have some guys. The difference with this team is Mark Pissick is a Solid puck moving defenseman, solid on defense, not always consistent because he moves more, more so because he moves from the forward position to defense. Now it's not really on him. Will Butcher is more of a puck moving defenseman, not always consistent on the other end. Colin Miller it gets the first pass up, not always at, as sweet as you would hope coming at least last season. You would hope he would bounce back from that, like I think he will in the defensive zone. And then Yoki Haru is fine, and then Darlene is obviously the guy that you expect to get more points, and you're going to get more defense from as he ages. The dude's only 21 years old. He's not even fully grown yet, and he's not even fully in his prime yet. Three of your defensemen ain't even close. Well, one is in, in Jacob Bryson, 25, 24 is when I consider your prime year. The other two are still a couple years out. 22 for Yoki Haru, 21 for Rasmus Darlene. Jack Eichel, of course, is obviously on the injured reserve out for the season because the Buffalo Sabres, of course, would not let him get Surgery, I want to know what you guys think about, not the Eichel situation, but just the fact in comments, if you want to put it down below, on what you think of him not allowing him to get surgery, because my opinion on that is, wouldn't it be beneficial if you want to trade him too, to actually get the surgery? Like, if the Sixers, with Ben Simmons to switch sports for a second, was injured and they just didn't let him get surgery, that's not going to benefit them for, for him being able to get moved. So that's just the way I look at it. This Buffalo Sabres team, though, as we head into the final stretch of this video, is obviously held back by pitiful, awful contracts. One you can't blame them as much for because Kyle Poso had something that was a, was a career-damning injury and you can't, and a career-damning issue. So you can't really blame anybody for that situation. So that's just kind of the way it is and the way it shook out. Jeff Skinner, nobody ever thought he was a $9 million player. Jeff Skinner is a very good hockey player. Well, was a very good hockey player with the Hurricanes. Hasn't been so in Buffalo. But even at that time, you didn't think he was worth that. Casey Middlestat is a good player, but what are you going to get out of him in Buffalo? You're going to be able to pull the most out of him. That's the thing. I like Paterka. I love Quinn. I love Uka Pekalekian. I like Isaac Rosen. I like Ryan Johnson. Um, <clears throat> this goes on. Owen Power, of course, is a freaking stud. 
Dylan Cousins, I love. I loved him out of the draft. I wanted my team to get him. They didn't. You guys have him. Congratulations, because he's a special player. But I need the Sabres. I need Don Granado to come in, and I need him to show me he can develop these guys and make them their best true selves. Because it has been a crap storm the last couple of years in Buffalo in developing guys as quickly at a rate you should be able to. Casey Middlestead's now 22. He had a good 21-year-old season, 22 points in 41 games. Now, let's keep building off of that, because I think a lot of the times, when it comes to Buffalo with their young guys, they pick talented guys, like Casey Middlestat. And I think Dylan Cousins, it's too early to say anything on. I think he actually played really well, and like Tage Thompson, who's 23 years old, but they don't get the most out of them, because they don't put them in the best spots, and they don't put them in the best situations to succeed. So hopefully this year with Don Granado, you're going to at least see that in Buffalo so they can develop this good young talent core they have and cream of the crop guys they have to be the next people that are in that core and in that developing core. And maybe R2 Roosterlinen, who also is a depth guy, is able to be somebody that comes into more of that. Lucas Rosick, somebody like that as well. Or Matthias Samuelson, you of course have on defense, and Rosick and Samuelson, of course, are both injured at the current moment, undisclosed for Rosick, and week to week for Samuelson, but you have nice young players, just use them the right way, Brandon uh, Biro is the same way, Brett Murray, um, use them the right way, Quinn if you play him, use them the right way, and you're going to have success in the future, because for Buffalo, this is about building for the damn future, you're projected eighth in the division, that's probably where you're going to end, but you want to have success, you want to build, and if Uka Pekka comes up, you want to see him continue to have success like he did in his good four NHL game trial. That is the goal here. The goal here is to have guys develop, have guys get better, have guys push each year, and have the youngsters push the veterans to still be good, <clears throat> Jeff Skinner, so that this team can continue to develop and continue to get to where they need to, because no matter what's going on with Jack Eichel, he's still a hell of a player. And somebody's going to give you a good piece for him. I hope you all enjoyed this Buffalo Sabre season preview. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. And enjoy the season, Sabres fans. Good luck to you this year. Hopefully Don Granado comes in and really helps develop these young kids. Peace out, everyone.